Joe Coogs succinctly morphs Washington State University culture with undergraduate memories and has become popularized in the WSU dialect, yet it has not been embedded in the local lexicon for decades, as its popularity may suggest. The earliest use of the phrase in print came in an edition of the Daily Evergreen newspaper published in 1974. Our recap of a men's basketball game versus the University of Washington featured a description of two students streaking across the gymnasium floor with nothing but a banner reading, Go Cougs, around their waists. Go Cougs then grew more common in the 80s with its uses in various Evergreen advertisements. WCU Library's digital collections of the Chinook yearbook run from 1989 through 1996, and the phrase appeared just twice in the 1986 volume. Likewise, digitized faculty and staff newsletters from 1974 through 2009 reveal the phrase did not pop up in print until 1991. The first usage of Go Cougs and Hill Topics, the former campus magazine, came in 1984 when a couple from the graduating classes of 1978 and 1979 used it in an article. Now, however, the phrase has become an aloha of the Coug family, as WSU Director of Marketing and Licensing Alice Anderson said. Anderson said she uses the phrase on about 20% of all merchandise, and the university University has trademarked its exact spelling to fully claim it as its own. For example, Houston University shares a cougar as its mascot and licenses the phrase on merchandise, but spells the colloquial abbreviation C-O-O-G-S and not C-O-U-G-S due to WCU's trademark claim. Local and national vendors such as Nike iconizing the phrase alongside WSU's traditional logo, Go Cougs having effectively replaced Go Cougars as the university's trademark, and undergraduate enrollment figures increasing, all three interviewees expect usage of the phrase Go Cougs to continue augmenting.